Well, it's that time again, time to play Cursed Content. And this one uh, comes to you from the uh, press secretary of the White House, which is always a source of great uh, mirth and hilarity. I actually kind of miss Jen Psaki just because she was like fun to hate. Um, this, this lady is a little bit less entertaining because she's just less good at her job. But let's see what she has to say for herself. We have a plan. Here's the thing. We have a plan. Republicans do not have a plan. What they want to do is take away rights uh, from the American people. But do you think it's possible that your plan just is not popular with the American people? Right? <laughs> I don't think it's that it's our Peter plan Ducey. is not popular with the American people. We know that the American people are feeling um, the high cost. We understand what they are feeling, feeling because, feeling because costs, when you man. look at inflation, when we look at where we are economically, and we are in a strong, uh, we are stronger economically than we have been uh, in history. When you look at the unemployment numbers at 3.6 percent, uh, when you look at the jobs numbers, uh, more than eight. 0.7 million of, of new jobs created. That is important, but we understand that gas prices are high, and we understand that food costs are high, and that is because like, uh, of a once uh, once in a generation pandemic, yes. and also Putin's war, and that's just the facts. Hey gosh, <laughs> there is so much to say here. I don't even know where to begin. First of all, I always forget this lady's name. It's Karine Jean-Pierre, which really does kind of sound like a second rate uh, villain from like an Edgar Allan Poe story. It's like you thought that you had escaped the victory and the revenge of the count, but you did not reckon with Karine Jean-Pierre. Here she is with ineptitude and lies. Like, <laughs> I just think it's great, man. Like, again, you have to laugh because otherwise, like, what are you going to do? You're going to cry. I mean, look at this this stuff is real. It is hurting the American people. And it's funny to hear her admit that people are feeling the hurt, right? They're going to the gas pump. They're going to the grocery store and they are coming up against the hard bedrock facts of reality. The truth about what evil government policies do, right? They don't not only do they suck, they also don't work and they cause real pain and real harm to the vast majority of Americans, right? And so these guys, they they appoint their little sub czars, their little satraps to stand up here and just stare at you and tell you you're not experiencing it. It's not real. It doesn't exist. And I like, <laughs> look, bro, I'm in, like not an economic. I did like, you know, Greek literature in school. So it doesn't take a mega genius to realize that none of the things she's saying make any sense. First of all, pet peeve of mine, when this administration says they create jobs, like, I just want you to remember that no administration, a Republican, Democrat, middle of the road, libertarian, whatever, no administration gets credit for giving you back rights that they never had the right to take away from you in the first place. When they shut the economy down, when they rolled over the American people with a steamroller and their stupid COVID regulations that did nothing, that helped zero, that in fact made things worse in many instances, that took jobs away from hardworking Americans and sucked the life out of our economy that depressed people to the point that they're unwilling even to go back to work. And then they turn around and they say they created jobs by deigning to allow you to work again. I'm sorry, but I sat in Los Angeles at an outdoor restaurant that had barely managed to scrape together some sort of arrangement that they hoped would meet the city's high council. The grand poobahs of the city would deign to allow them to run their business. And I looked in the eyes of a waiter who told me that, in fact, it hadn't worked. They were going back into lockdown and he was going to have to go back on unemployment. And so miss me with this noise about we're creating jobs. Oh, no. Oh, no. You destroyed jobs. The Democrats and their cronies in every state government that they could, could control, every legislature they could get their hands on, every bureaucracy that they could infect the government with, they shut the economy down. And now they're telling you that, like, you should be grateful for that to them for allowing you to go back to work. That part of it just absolutely boils my blood. I mean, I'm, I'm like high blood pressure about COVID on a good day. But when they start talking about how, how great they are for reopening the economy that they never had a right to shut down, that's when I start to lose it. So then it's like, well, it's Putin's fault. I and mean, I'm sorry, again, not an economics guy, like did literature in school, but like, bruh. 
you look at the chart and it's like the gas prices are mounting and mounting and mounting. And then it's like Putin's war is here. And then it's like mounting, 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 mounting. So like Putin's war is not the problem. Like this is a very much a Biden created situation. He's been choking the uh, sector, the, the energy sector uh, with his useless uh, environmental regulations, which again, aren't going to fix the problems that they're designed to fix. They're not supposed to fix those problems. They're just there to hand over more power to the government so that they continue to keep you at their mercy, begging for scraps from their table, right? What has every oligarchy in the history of ever done? It has created a situation where the middle class is squeezed out of existence and has to rely upon the oligarchs to, for, to continue living, right? And that's all they're doing. And all of this fancy rhetoric and all of this like open lying, you just like, you know, none of it is is real. And people know this, right? This is why I'm hopeful about November. You know, if we if we can uh, get out the vote, which I think we can, like these folks are when when Ducey says, like, you know, do you think that your plan's just not all that popular? And she's like, well, we have a plan. We've got a, this is like the Eddie Azard routine. Like, do you have a flag? Have you got a plan? No plan, no country. And it's like we have a plan and the Republicans just want to take rights away. It's like, I'm sorry, that just doesn't play when you're going to the grocery store, when your wallet is being stretched thin, when you can't fill up your tank of gas, right? Like regular Americans are experiencing reality. And I hope to God they absolutely hand it to these folks in the polls in November uh, because they so richly deserve it. And I'm going to love to see it. Um, okay, well, there's lots of other videos that you can check out or to talk more about the, you know, oligarchic regime and, and how this stuff works. Just browse around a little bit. Welcome to uh, the Young Heretics YouTube channel. Uh, I hope that you enjoy all the stuff that we talk about here. And if you like it, check out locals to youngheretics.com forward slash locals. It's always my joy to talk more with folks on there. Um, come check it out. Music